In this video, I will show you facial muscles in 3D. Facial muscles can be so great for expressing emotions. You can show that you're sad or happy, angry or satisfied. Facial muscles can also express such complicated emotions that this animation cannot show. But there are other reasons why I want to talk about facial muscles. Paralysis of certain facial muscles can indicate lesions in the facial nerve, head trauma, head and neck tumor, or a stroke. So let's talk about the facial muscles. Did you ever meet a person that can elevate his ears? Well, that person does so by using this muscle over here. That is the temporalis muscle. But the muscles around this area are not just there to make funny movements with your ears. We have three muscles here, called the auricularis muscles. So we have the superior, anterior, and the posterior one. Now the function of these muscles is so incredible. You see, most human speech sounds are distributed around 3 kilohertz. These muscles actually boost the sound pressure 30 to 100 fold for these frequencies around 3000 hertz. One more muscle that I want to mention is the occipitofrontalis muscle. Sometimes it is referred to as two separate muscles and sometimes it is referred to as one muscle. So it is occipitofrontalis muscle. Now furthermore, if you want to show that you're angry or worried, you want to bring your eyebrows together, you might want to use the muscle called the corrugator muscle, but that's not exclusively for anger. It can also be used to express confusion or concentration as well. However, if you want to show that you are really angry, you want to bring your eyebrows downwards as well. And that's why you should use the procerus muscles. And those are two muscles. And here they are. Sometimes when you're laying down in the sun and you want to close your eyes and enjoy the moment, you might want to use this muscle over here. That is the orbicularis oculi muscle. If these muscles experience loss of function, then the patient has to use the eye drops, or sometimes even the eye removal is required. Now let's explain the muscles that can be found around the nose, mouth and the zygomatic bone. So here we have the depressor of the nasal septum, and it basically depresses that, pulls it downwards, as well as the alar cartilage of the nose. Then we have the nasalis muscle, and this is the alar part of the nasalis muscle, which does pretty much the same function. But we have the transverse part of the nasalis muscle, which actually constricts the nostrils and can completely close them. Now comes the muscle with the longest name ever in any species whatsoever. Levator labii superioris aliqui nasi. That's this muscle over here. This muscle helps you dilate the nostrils and elevate the upper lip, enabling one to snarl. Elvis Presley is famous for use of this expression, and the muscle got its nickname, the Elvis muscle. Now how to remember this name, levator labii superioris aliqui nasi? To remember the initial letters, you can think of little ladies snore all night. Basically, levator labii superioris aliqui nasi. So we can finally remove this long named muscle and we can study this one over here. And that is the levator anguli oris. Right next to that muscle, we have the levator labii superioris. Its main function is to express sadness. Now I should remove these two muscles. And this muscle over here is the zygomaticus minor. 